There's a myth that echo chambers exist because online we only look at opinions that support our own. But all the research suggests they're actually exposed to more contrary opinions in the online world than we ever are in the offline world. Think about your own experience. I think you're absolutely right, Grant. The truth is, you see a lot of alternative views in comments, in tweets, and in other posts, whether you like it or not. Of course, echo chambers do exist, just not in the way that we thought about them. The truth is, if you're sitting in the privacy of your own home, reading a magazine or a newspaper with alternative views to your own, you get a chance to reflect without the need to necessarily shout back and respond. Online, however, this is not the case. It's more akin to a football stadium where actually the alternative views that you're hearing are being shouted by the opposing supporters. And at that point, you feel the need to shout back. In other words, cognitively, we don't exist in an echo chamber, but socially we do. Our sense of belonging makes us feel that we need to respond. We don't worry about the facts more than we care about the social glue that keeps us together with the groups that we identify with. It's the need to obtain approval from our own communities that means echo chambers exist. The truth is that echo chambers exist not because we don't get alternative views online, but the way we respond to those opinions in the online world. So is that a wrap? Yeah. Quite honestly, that was rubbish. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment box. And to receive regular marketing updates, hit subscribe.